welcome to Cooking with Debbie and Friends, and you are my friend. And I would like to say thank you to everybody who put in comments yesterday about who they're quarantined with and what their challenges are, because believe it or not, that's what we're going to talk about today while we're cooking. So, um... I'm going to get you logged on so you can see their comments. Yes, see there's looking. someone on already. I can't tell from here. Let's go. We're going to get you plugged in. Go ahead, baby. Do your thing. Um... I forgot where I was. <laughs> Cooking with Debbie and her friends. Oh, that song reminds me. We have a pretty amazing little video coming out. Uh, uh, seven countries, four continents, and artists came together and we made a cute, cute something. That's all I can tell you. And some of you saw the still pictures. Anyway, it's launching tomorrow. So I will set my alarm and launch it to all of you tomorrow. It's something to make you feel good. And right now, gosh, don't we all need something to feel good? Uh, um, I was watching my friend Kathy Lipp, L-I-P-P, -P, Kathy Lipp. She is a wonderful writer. And we used to talk about the same thing when we, we were keynote speakers. We talked about marriage. And Kathy said, I think I'm going to start talking about decluttering I'm like all right girl whatever you think works for you and dang she hit the nail on the head with decluttering so if you have the time tomorrow at 11 I will share in the comments who my friend Kathy Lip is and how you can watch her show at 11 or watch it later um, you can watch it live and uh, I will get you that info but um, anyway so she's doing a great job decluttering America and she said something over and over today in her show and she said fresh first here's why I'm gonna talk about fresh first because right now it's not scary to go to the grocery store I don't want you scared I want you prepared it's not a scary thing to go to the grocery store however it's not like it used to be Oh my goodness, I ran out of basil and oregano. I'm gonna pop down to the store and get some. I need some milk. Hey, I could use some eggs. Um, or I would call my husband, hey, stop by and get something for dinner. And it used to be like an every two or three day visit for us. Now we are much more vigilant about how we grocery shop and it's uh, more than a one person job in a lot of houses. So. Kathy Lips kept saying, fresh first, fresh first. What does that mean? That means shop from your fridge and your counters. That's where I keep a lot of my veggies. Shop from your fridge and your counters for vegetables and fruits, uh, meats, cheeses, eggs. Use that first before you start getting into your frozen food. But I will tell you what frozen foods to buy later on in another episode. But right now, fresh first. Now. I talk to people, oh, um, back here in this orange pot, you want to give it a stir and look? Yeah. I'll Can I see who's joined? Yeah, okay, so Mary, Monica, but she's at work watching, so don't say her name too loud. <laughs> uh, Shannon, you've got Sam, just popped on, and um, let's see, there's a, there's a couple of other Oh, things. that is so funny. Shh, I'm watching for work. Okay. Oh, David Gemawari! Oh my gosh, I hope you put that little kit I showed you how to put together in your car for running all over the place. Okay, so I was um, asking people who they're quarantined with because I think it makes a difference, first of all, in your personal space, how you're quarantining, and um, how you prepare meals. So I was, um, Jackie Loeb, who's a wonderful actress from Australia and who watches our show, Jackie lives all by herself. And Jackie was saying that she doesn't want to have any kind of um, lot of leftovers. Okay, so I get that, Jackie. We're going to show you something today. Some of you are cooking for one. Some of you are cooking for two. Some of you are cooking for a family. So using Fresh First, I'm going to talk to you about what we're doing. I made a breakfast casserole. Now remember, the whole idea behind my recipes are versatility versatility you don't have ham use bacon you're not a meat eater don't use anything um so oh, are you already jumping to that you just said you made it <laughs> didn't you say and you again did? without the pot holders what is that's not what? my pot don't pick up a knife and yell at me in what front, is of, wrong with front of all my friends that you're gonna pick up a knife <laughs> okay 
I made a breakfast casserole. And what you can do is you can improvise. The basic ingredients are eggs, are eggs. You might have to pull it into camera. Eggs, and can you get me a couple out from the fridge? They yeah. should be right there. Um, cottage cheese, cottage cheese if you have it. We like green chilies, green chilies if you like. Yeah. Baking powder. And then I've got some toppings. So all it is, you crack your eggs in a bowl. Whisk, 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 whisk. <laughs> no need for milk if you're using cottage cheese. If you're out of cottage cheese and you have milk, there's a way to substitute. There's all kinds of recipes on Pinterest. Like I said, I'm just giving you the basics. I had cottage cheese. So it's cottage cheese, scrambled egg, not scrambled already. Does that make sense? Scramble your egg. How many will this feed? Because sometimes I say scramble your egg and somebody will actually cook it and scramble it. No, okay. raw. So you're, you're scrambling raw eggs. You add in cottage cheese, baking powder, so, um, uh, baking powder, um, chilies. chilies, salt and pepper. Sing it, babe. And then bake for salt, 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 salt and pepper is here. And then bake it for how long? And then you bake it. I bake mine. It's little. I reduced my my uh, recipe i only put five eggs as opposed to ten if you're cooking for a family you're going to use ten eggs um and i cooked it for 30 35 minutes this little casserole and just tested like a cake if it's done with a knife if it comes out how clean. many eggs are does this make? this is five eggs this is five eggs and that will serve how many people this will serve probably i don't know uh four so probably four, just me five. and her then Takes no, a lot of groceries to keep the king alive. It. We are sending a, a beautiful dinner down to our neighbor who unfortunately just lost her husband. So we are keeping her fed. Um, okay, so egg casserole. Now, let's put that back on here. So you're handling it without a pot holder. <laughs> we also have some red beans. Yeah, you mentioned um, the pot earlier. Yeah. You didn't tell them what was in here. We have red beans in there. And I just soaked them last night. Beans can stay in your cupboard for three, count them, three years. Beans rarely go bad if you have them stored right. So you get some dry beans and you soak them overnight. Soak them overnight. Give them a good rinse. Soak them again in the morning. Um, and all I did is I put some ham. I had some chopped up ham and some onions and a little bit of uh, cooking oil. And I put it at the bottom of that pan, sauteed, woohoo, saute. Then I added my beans and some water, salt and pepper. I'm not gonna do it every time, um, come on. <laughs> um, salt joke. and pepper, and, um, and now the beans are just cooking. So those beans can be served on top of rice or just on their own or as a side dish. Who do we have coming on? Okay, you've got a lot of people. Sandra okay. Balls, Ray, Ramon, Ray Romero, sorry, not Ray yeah. Romano. Uh, Debbie Burns. Susan Holy Cross Yolanda, from school. Yolanda um, Mendez. Sandra Valls, like I said. Hi, Sandra. Sandra and her sister do a do Oh, my a, God. So much You're fun. You're watching your little clip reel the other night. Oh, gosh. Wow. I reposted it for people. If you um, haven't seen Sandra Valls and her sister doing karaoke, you're truly missing out on something wonderful. Right. Okay. Um, and Debbie uh, Burns again. Hello, Susan Holy Cross. Man, um, Yolanda... Tom, Tom Symes. Hey, guy. I can't hey, wait to come back and work your club. Debbie Grow, uh, David Genilari, uh, Mari Hagestorm. Hey, Mari, thanks Marnie. for joining. Marnie, thanks for joining us again. Sorry. Okay. So what, what are we making today? Today we're going to make, this is for my friends Jackie, um, my friend David, my Michael. friend Michael, who are by themselves at home, and uh, Alan Meir. Alan um, Meir or Meir? The Adam, actor. Adam, Adam Meyer. Adam Meyer. <laughs> Sorry. He gets me so scared that I have to be done not scared. taking more than 20 of your minutes. Okay. We're, ah! we're 10 minutes in. Let's go. Don't waste your time, lady. Teach him. Did I tell you? Flour goes into that mixture, too. I'm going to put up a, a recipe for you for that casserole. And I will uh, have Travis cut himself a piece and we'll talk about it. But we're moving on to this. This um, David, Michael, Jackie, Greg Boardman, um, 
anybody who's cooking for themselves right now and is worried about the amount of food they have left over or even dishes. And some of you moms, you know, you've got these kids coming in at all hours hungry again, hungry again, hungry again, you know? Your 12 year old comes and looks at you and you say, what's wrong? And he goes, I just grew out of my shoes. So I get that you have kids like that. This is easy enough for a kid who you trust and is tall enough to, um, and old enough and responsible enough to do on their own. You get a mug. We're using Pam. I always use Pam, not any of the sisters, um, just because I do. We've got a nice uh, spray of Pam in there. Travis, yes. can you break two eggs and... Into this. Into that. The eggs. The eggs. Okay. Beautiful. And that was a wonderful job. The other day, I told you about putting, maybe you have a trilogy. I do salt, pepper, and garlic powder, and I use it in um, pretty much everything. So instead of reaching in there and pinching it every time to look fancy, I use a little spoon. We have to whisk that at all? Yes, please sure. go. Okay. So. I just use a little on a spoon, so that way, no waste. It's not about wasting anything. Everything has a purpose in your kitchen right now. Everything. So this meal in a mug... You're just putting right now just eggs and some spices. Two if eggs, salt, pepper. That's going to go in there as well. And, and then, well, I'm going to ask you, what would you like? I'm going to be like at the I fancy. Want everything. Like at the fancy, um, fancy places that you get your omelet. I want everything. Would you like green chili? Yes, please. Get it in there. Would you like some ham? I would. Thank you. Okay. You don't want everything. Like at the omelet. I like at the omelet bar. Yes. Yeah, as long as it's not green, put it in. The chilies were green. Well, I mean, you know, like this. Would you like onion? No. I don't want onion. <laughs> How about a tomato? No, that's all right. No tomato? Okay. Yeah. Um, so okay. there it is. This goes uncovered in your microwave for one minute. All right. He's going to cook that for one minute, and I'm going to read who's, who else is watching or comments. So a meal in a mug. And can you do other things besides an omelet? You can do omelets. You can do um, desserts. Pilar used to make a cake in a mug. Yeah. We are currently out of sugar. <laughs> and as much as I love you guys, I wasn't going to don on the hazmat suit and go and buy sugar today. So, again, that is a testament to find what is in your fridge and use it first uh, before you go shopping for just that extra ingredient. All right. Um, yesterday... We were talking about, um, I was asking people who they're quarantined with. And um, uh, the, those people quarantined alone, I heard from one of my friends who said that he hears, you know, he's, he's lonely. And he said, but then I hear from married couples who are losing their mind. And that can happen. You're damn right, sister. A lot. You're damn right, sister. Um, we are lucky enough that we have an upstairs and downstairs. So he takes up upstairs and I stay downstairs. And, um, you know, we meet together for Whoa. walks. Did you use a, okay. No. Look at Look. that. Yeah, well, can they see it? It's yeah. not ready yet, I think. No. They can't see it. Yeah. It's formed into uh, eggs. Now you're gonna stir it up a little bit. Scramble. Oh, this. I know what I forgot. So you're talking about we have the space upstairs and down. Yep. Which has been very, very beneficial. Very during this time. So I just stirred it up. Oh yes, put some cheese in there. <laughs> My brother Henry doesn't like cheese, but I don't I don't get it. I don't understand people like that. Okay. That's little bit cheese. of little bit of cheese. Okay. And put it back in for 30 seconds. Okay. And so your friends who are lonely and the ones quarantined with spouses. Yeah, so we're trying to figure it all out. The important thing is love, forgiveness, respect. Those things um, come, they're difficult to come by right now, but do, do look in your heart for some extra grace and patience with your family members, even just moving around the kitchen, even just moving around the kitchen. I think it's because we have a place to see ourselves, but normally we're, you know, bumping into, bumping each, into other each other. So um, also be quick with the I'm sorry's and quick with the I understand. We're all feeling really um, weird now and then, and... If you're feeling bad, call a friend who's feeling good. If you're feeling good, call a friend that you think might be needing you. So. <laughs> that smells good. Yeah. That smells like a regular omelet. Yeah. So this is. That looks fantastic. Can we plate that? No, no, no. Why? No. 
Well, I need to show the people. No. What it looks like. Do you people understand why we're saying no, he cannot play it? Of course you can, because you listened at the beginning. Why? Travis, this is for people that don't want to do a lot of dishes. Don't do dishes. Okay, I'll do the dish. No. Oh, jeez. You don't even okay, listen. Is this done? You don't even listen, Travis. Let me Travis. show them how this looks, if they can see, uh, if I can get it to the camera. Where the hell is the camera angle? Well, you can't get the... T That's the problem with out of a mug, also through the camera. But you How that smells. Stop. It looks so good. Stop. He didn't even listen how I said today's... Um, Today's lesson was going to be about how to make something for one person, how one person out of six wants to eat, and he or she can make this in one mug, no pans, no chopping boards, no oven, just a mug and a fork. You're wasting all the time yelling at me. We only have four minutes left. No! Okay, um, so there you go. Now we also, and um, meanwhile, why don't you go ahead and cut that open. Potatoes. Oh, I can plate this one? You can plate that one. Right. You can also taste the, the omelet. Okay. Um, uh, uh, darn, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, what we're serving on the side. Again, use what you have first. Fresh is first, remember? So I have like four potatoes, three I'm using for tomorrow night's dinner. And this is one big russet potato, just one washed, scrubbed, ready to go and i'm putting my oh i have my salt and pepper and garlic powder all ready to go and speaking of adam adam brought us this paprika from hungary look at how light and fluffy that looks i'm yep. just gonna take a bite with my fingers like this i don't even care it's mine who cares who cares it's mm. your business it's got just the right amount of cheese in there you put peppers in this too Little yeah chilies. there's green chilies uh -huh. in there too so again in this eggs cottage cheese, milk if you've got it, if you don't have the cottage cheese, green chili, salt, baking powder, and flour. And all the measurements, I'm gonna give you guys a recipe that is used for uh, 10 eggs and probably eight people. Um, I don't know if it refrigerates real well, which is why I made a little one and why I showed you how you can make something right there in the mug. And Debbie Ferguson, um she asks, uh, but will but will my sons do it for themselves? Oh, that leads us to... Go ahead, baby. Go, go ahead. No, you. Uh, our, our daughter used to make these simple and easy meals, which is kind of what sparked us to think about this in ways that we could just pull stuff from our cupboard, from our fridge. Um, so I don't know if your sons will, but our daughter did. And, and uh, you know, it's easy enough for someone who doesn't really like to cook to make this one. Right. And then to wash the dish, which brings me to Greg Boardman. Greg Boardman is the first person that I have heard from that has roommates. You know, people are talking about um, hunkering down with family and by themselves or with a spouse. But I haven't heard yet from somebody who has roommates. And Greg has two. And he has grown men roommates, three of them grown men. They um, lovingly gave their housekeeper an absence of leave because, uh, you know, because of COVID and they wanted her to be safe. And so they gave her an a leave of absence and now they have to clean their own house. Now what's happening, Greg says, is they're not picking up after themselves. First of all, not sexy. Not sexy. <laughs> Clean up after yourself. Clean is the new sexy. Well, there are a few a few methods uh, for. I'm gonna let him take it. This. You could try the mom method, which Debbie tried for many years, which is to complain about it and then clean it herself, and that never really worked. You could try the dad method. I'm also a former Marine, so my first thing was to come in yelling and screaming, and then the dad method part was I took a leaf rake and I raked everything into the center of her room, a big pile. Um, and then I also threatened to bag it all up with a 30-gallon trash bag and throw it away. Of course, we gave her the money for a lot of that stuff. Sometimes uh, $20 lipstick, and sometimes you'd find actual cash on the floor. Um, but, but the bottom line is you got to sit down. You have to communicate with this person, just like in any situation like right. us. We have to communicate through the frustration of being in such close quarters. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's nothing like being in a, in a place where someone is messier than you are. Um, so communication is the first step. 
most importantly, you have to understand that your definition of clean might be different than theirs. Right. But, um, but the guidelines are set already because you had a house cleaner, so they know what to expect from a clean house. So my suggestion to you is sit them down, um, be patient, but also be as stern as you need to be, uh, and just tell them, look, get your shit together because we have to live here and I can't deal with your mess anymore. Yeah. So um, my suggestion to you is that start with communication, be direct, define what clean looks like for both of you so that you have all an understanding, three of you. all three of you, so you have an understanding of, uh, of what's expected and then um, call them on it sternly, but don't nag and bitch because as we know, that doesn't work and yelling and screaming doesn't work either. So I hope that helps you guys. Yeah. I hope that helps too. So remember, we'll be back on Thursday. We're going to have something really fun planned. And it's, the show is dedicated to all of you parents who are homeschooling it right now. I'm interviewing teachers and asking them what to expect. If you're a teacher, please contact me and let me know how we can better help these parents ease their minds and their hearts. And trust that you are amazing teachers and uh, you know, we'll catch these kids up and there's probably something more important you want your students to learn when they come back to you. So uh, we're going to have a really, really fun dinner and dessert. And again, we are not going grocery shopping for hopefully another six days. That's my goal. So remember, fresh first. You can make one meal in a mug. And then Greg Boardman's roommates, you wash the mug and the fork. It's that easy. That easy. Tell them, get your shit together. You're Stop a grown it. ass man. Stop it. You're a grown ass man. Beep. Um, so, uh, Fresh First, Kathy Lip has an amazing uh, uh, Facebook Live, as does Sandra Valls, if you want to just sing, dance, and have some fun. Um, you can meet me here every Tuesday and Thursday at what time? 3.30 p.m. 3.30. If there's something you want to know, Give me a text message or put or Facebook me, uh, and I will get to you. And I want to thank you so so. Also, so 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 much. Sorry, I jumped on that, but I don't. We're almost three minutes over. <gasps> tag us. Make these things that we're doing. Tag us, and uh, we've got an Instagram just for this, where we pull yes. the videos from Facebook. Yes. And I upload them to an Instagram account. It's at Cooking with Debbie D E B I. Um, tag us and and we'll we'll put yours up there too. It'd be wonderful to share what you guys are making. After all, it's called cooking with Debbie and friends. So what are you gonna do with this? What's that? And by the way, this was that's really good. <laughs> I'm surprised at how good that tastes. This is just one potato shared between the two of us. I just put a little bit of salt, pepper, and paprika on there, and this is and garlic powder, and this is ready to go. Uh, into a, a frying pan with a little bit of oil, fry up these potatoes. I got two beautiful oranges that I'll slice up and, and make a little salad because tonight for dinner it's breakfast egg casserole or uh, omelet in a mug. Remember, patience, kindness, be quick to say I'm sorry. And the warmer weather is right around the corner. We can start hanging out in our backyards and really using all of the space on our properties. We love you. Thank you for hunkering down. Thank you for helping everyone flatten the curve. Remember, together, with the little we do, we can do a lot. Bye, everybody. Cooking with Debbie and friends. And you too.